This is the fourth lesson for your integrated project and in this lesson you'll be looking to create a digital presentation so we need to understand what a digital presentation is. Before we move forward with our digital presentation we have our knowledge recall questions and you need to be able to answer these four questions. So you need to say what is an array, you need to say what is a Python list, what is a mind map and what is a Gantt chart. So you need to answer those four questions in your ePortfolio before you move on. So you can pause the video and answer those questions. Moving on for today's lesson, we're going to look at a digital presentation, understand what a digital presentation is, and then why we use digital presentations, what their purpose is. And we're going to look at some different digital presentations and try and work out what's good or bad about them. And then with a digital presentation, we want a look of professionalism. And one way to achieve that is by using a slide master. So all our slides have a theme to them and we'll learn how to create a presentation using a slide master. And we can create those presentations in either Google Slides or Microsoft PowerPoint. So both of them are digital presentation software or presentation software, and they're just two different pieces of software that we have at our disposal. So as a starter, you just need to have a think about what a digital presentation is. You can write a few notes and then um, that can be discussed and you need to explain why a digital presentation is used and what a digital presentation is likely to have on them. So you need to add that information into your ePortfolio in this fashion. So what is a digital presentation? Why are they used? And what do they have on them? Again, you can pause the video and answer those questions. So if we're thinking about digital presentation, it's a way to show or explain something to an audience. It's a way of grabbing people's attention. It's a way of giving information. So uh, presenting information to other people. And that often takes the form of a slideshow. So uh, one slide after another. And you're used to seeing slideshows either in lessons or in companies as advertising and presentations. So digital presentations will likely have a variety of different elements on them. There's almost certainly going to be text and images. Some presentations have video in them and some have other images, um, other animations and so on. You can add sound in them but you need to think about where it's going to be played as to whether sound will be appropriate and um, you know, animations sometimes they look really good but sometimes they can distract from the content that you are trying to trying to show. So the two main ones that are used for presentation are Microsoft PowerPoint and Google Slides and you should be familiar with both of them. So what you need to write now in your ePortfolio is four features of presentation software. So what can presentation software do? What are some of the tools in presentation software that make a presentation better? And again, you can write that information in your ePortfolio in the box provided. You can pause the video and answer that question. So thinking about some of the common features, we're going to talk about a slideshow in a minute. And that's one way of keeping consistency between all your pages, the same colors, the same font, the same font style, same logo, possibly in the same place on every slide. Uh, the slides are different um, information on there. You can have text, images, video, animation, and sounds, but you can also include hyperlinks. Now, it depends how your digital presentation is going to be seen. If somebody's viewing on a computer, they can click a hyperlink. But if they're viewing on a TV screen, in school or in a business then they won't be able to click on the links. You need to think whether the links are going to be appropriate. And animation effects you can add in and whether that's something moving on the screen or whether that is an animation between uh, one slide and the next. If the slide is animated from one slide to the next we tend to call that a transition. So how the slides move from one screen to the next screen. And another feature of digital presentations, you can have slide notes. And these are in some ways like a script that you could have in your presentation that the person giving the presentation sees 
but the people seeing the presentation does not see. So there are little notes that can be added to the bottom of your slide presentation. So looking at a few digital presentations, we've got two presentations here. The bottom one is a presentation of a lesson in school that you might have seen where you're presenting information. And the top one, each one of these squares is actually a different slide of the presentation. This is in a slide view, so you can see the whole presentation on one screen and the different elements you can have in here. So we can see the titles at the top, make it very clear. Some presentations could have an image in them, some might have image side by side, different boxes of information, different diagrams, different writing, just different ways to show different slides. But it looks like a common theme here with the title predominantly at the top for most of these slides. And then this bit here has a common theme of the box in the middle. There's no common theme with colours, there's a multitude of colours in this presentation. Whereas the slideshow at the bottom tends to have the same colour scheme throughout it, the grey and the black, with the colours of information showing over the top of it. So we're going to talk about a slide master now. A slide master is a way to keep a style to every page. And I'm going to demonstrate how to create that slide master as we go. So you can open up Google Slides or you can open up Microsoft PowerPoint. Whichever you use, you need to create a blank presentation rather than using one of the templates that are already there. So avoid using templates, create a blank presentation. So I'll start with Microsoft Slides. And what I can do here is when I've got a blank presentation, I can just show the information that I've got. This is my title slide. So I can um, put my presentation. So whatever you're doing your presentation on, that information comes in here. Remember this is about your um, business that you're creating, the, the integrated project. And what I can do is I can click on view and then I can look at the slide master. And what I can do on my slide master, and I can use either the master or the different layouts, I can decide to put an image on the same slide in the same place on every screen, on every slide. So I can just get an image. I've just uh, found an image over here. And on my slide master, what I can do is just paste the image in and position that image exactly where I want that image. So I might want it in the top right corner of every single slide, just about there. So when I go back to my my actual slides, my image is there. And if I create a new slide, then although the image isn't here, I can go back to my slide master and decide on this slide, I can copy it from here, copy, and just go into this slide, control V to paste. So every slide that looks like this will have that image in it, file, uh, view, master. So now when I insert a new slide, it's not there. Why is it not there? So we're using a type of slide that looks like this. View, go into the master. Have I used the right slide? It should be here. On my actual master at the top, I can just paste that in. View master, and now it's on on every single slide. So again, I can create a new slide. I can change the layout of this as I want it, and my logo will always be in the same place. So it just keeps a consistent look to all my slides. If I was to do that in um, in PowerPoint, here's a blank presentation in PowerPoint, and normally we'd click on Home and get the information at the top. I can just call this my title page. I can insert a new slide, right click a new slide, and this could be page one. Obviously you'll give them better titles. I'm just doing this for speed. New slide, and this is going to be page two. So what I now have on my pages and again, I can put my image in. So I can click on 
view and find slide master. Again, I can copy an image. I've just copied an image and it's a little bit easier to use in PowerPoint. I can either do it on my overall slide master or choose the layout. I'm going to go to my overall slide master and just paste in the image that I want to use. And we can see I'm going to put that in the top corner again. On the design of all my slides, that image is going to be in the same place on every single slide. So that's there. So when I close my slide master, um, and I can just go to close master view, it's there on every single image. It doesn't move around because it's there locked on the slide master. Um, and I can't delete it from my slide. I have to go into my slide master to be able to remove that. So it's another way that it's always going to be there and I won't accidentally delete it. So I've got a couple slides here. In PowerPoint, if I wanted to see all my slides, I can just click on View and I can click on um, Handout Master. See the different view. Or I can close that and I can click on View and I've got different options here. Slide sorter will show all my different slides at the same time. I can see that information. I can see my outline view of each slide where I've got the other information. So just different ways to show the information. But the ones that you need to put into your ePortfolio really is your slide master, uh, handout, not handout master, it's your slide sorter. So you need to show this information, take a screen grab of this and put that into your work. In Google Sheets, it works in a very similar way. You can click on View and then Grid View, and that shows all your different slides and the information that will be on there. So there's a couple ways to show the information on every slide on one sheet of paper, and that's what you need to do in your ePortfolio. So you need to put screen evidence of your slide master and show more evidence of your um, slide slide sort of view. In your presentation, you need to put information about your gains for you company, and you need to put information about the company, about the maths game you're creating, and any costs and promotional deals or information about your company that you've come up with so far. Um, other information you can include are things like Google Maps, company website, a link to the website, a link to the social media accounts and some contact information for that company. So you need to create some information in your presentation about your Games For You company. Remember to show your grid view in your presentation, in your ePortfolio and remember to submit your work to your teacher. If you have done this in PowerPoint you will need to save your work.